Ashley trying to get back to full. The first semi-final of the men's 800 meters run in lanes for the first bend, and then they break, and the first four go into the final. And Rob has gone off very quickly. Not a good draw in lane number one. He's got to go quickly in order not to get boxed, and he's done just that. He's committed now. Giacondi of Italy in second place at the moment. They're settling down, just 200 meters gone. And Rob now in full. But is he fit enough to survive against this field after all his virus and injury problems? Giacondi in second place. Perella, the American, right on the curb. Did well to qualify after being hopelessly boxed in the quarterfinal. Sepang, the South Africa, comes up into third place. Perella, four. Kabito, five. And staying out of trouble at the back is the favorite, Kit Kita. He must be very confident. The time's slow at the bell. 55.51. Now Curtis Robb has really got to drive it. He probably hasn't got a, too much of a change of pace at the moment. Giacondi on the inside looking for space there. Curtis Robb is allowing him daylight. And Robb suddenly kicks. He responds to the challenge of Sepang. And Robb with just a 200 to go has really gone for it. And just look at Kip Keita. He came from last to first in no time. And it's Kip Keita by himself. The race for the place is between the rest. The first four qualify. Giacondi is second at the moment. Sepang third. Rob is out of it. And Perilla on the near side. Kip Keita wins. Perilla second in third place with Giacondi. And fourth was Everett. The time, very slow indeed, 148.39. 144.44 this season. Rock, the tall American outside him. Six feet four. And this looks a little quicker. Adungimana has gone off well, so has uh, Mochibon, the German, and right on the inside, uh, Rodal and uh, Concilo. Well, 200 metres looks a little bit uh, quicker this time, Brendan. 25.7 for the first 200 metres, and Rodal just holding his place on the inside. And then when he gets to 200 metres, he slows it down again. And Mochibon on the outside, but we're looking through this field, and we're looking really to see if there's a challenger to what we saw in the first semi-final with Kip Kater, the Kenyan who's now living in Denmark. And we're looking at the other Kenyan on the outside, Tengelai. I wonder if he's anything as good as his countryman. to be wearing a different vest, but they're running in a very similar style. So 54 for the first lap. There's going to be a burn-up now. Oh, it certainly is a Mochibon in a good position on the shoulder of Rodal as they go beyond uh, 400 metres. And uh, Haida, the Moroccan, is there. Fifth in the World Indoor Championships recently. Semi-finalist uh, in Stuttgart in 1983. He's third. Manda of uh, Burundi is in fourth place. First four go through to the final. The battle really on now. Aida's trapped. Rock, the American, finding his way through the inside. And Atungimanda in second place now. Rodal, Atungimanda, then Mochibon, then Hayeda. And here comes Tengelai, the Kenyan, round the outside. Only four places on offer here. And it's a real battle. And Rodal's got himself clear. Atungimanda in second place. Mochibon holding on with Rock on the inside and Hayeda fading a little, and here comes the Frenchman Conchillo. Rodal gets it, Mochabon in second. In third place was uh, Hati Munga, and then Rock, I think. The World Championship 800 meters final. <laughs> the first lane running bends. Tungi Ma, very slow at Mano, is very slowly away. Mochibon's gone quickly. Kitkita's not bothering with the leaders. He's hanging around at the back. He's uh, quite happy uh, to wait and see. Let them sort the trouble out in front. He's right at the back at the moment. Rodal likes to lead. Checks on the inside. He's not impeding anybody. Comes across at uh, the first band point. Slows it down very slightly. Giacondi in second place. Atangi Mana is third. Mochibon four at the moment. That's Rock running very wide on the outside. Behind him, Mochibon's lost fourth place. 
Mark Everett is there. Perilla just behind him. And suddenly Kipkita has moved up to sixth place very easily indeed. 52-5-3 of the bell, not all that fast. Rodal leads the Tungimana second. And still, Kipkita's made no move. He's sixth at the moment. Moving very easily. That's Mochibon in front of him. Rodal leads the Tungimana second. Giacondi third. And right on the outside, Mochibon goes up very fast with 200 to go. And he's followed by Kipkita. The race is really on. Rodal of Norway, Mochibon of Jabi, and look! And Kipkita, 369. He's kept out of trouble. He's prepared to give away a yard or two because he knows he is the number one in the field. Kipkita comes away to take the world championship. The Kenyan who lives in Denmark. Second was a Tonga man. And third, Rodal of Norway. Photo finished for second place, but I'd back the man from Burundi for that. 145.08. He made it look like a training session. He really before the race started. Well, he looked so relaxed is an understatement. Smiling, happy, 